Hey Jeremy, it's Haley here, I'm Cleo. Uh, so today we worked on a, kind of like a little refresher course. We wanted to see where Cleo was at in terms of her training and she remembered certain things or if we needed to dial it back and backtrack. Um, that being said, we did have a long warm up today, meaning that when we came in, she was very nervous, she was barking at us. However, we do think, oh sorry, she's stuck, give me one second. <laughs> we do think that her um, medical issues are really affecting her behavior right now. So we know she's very itchy right now. So we definitely do think that that is affecting her behavior in a negative way. And you already know you're, you're already handling it. Just like you know how until this medical issue is clear, she's probably gonna be a little weary and um, de default into the behavior you don't really like because she is very uncomfortable. That being said, even though she's very uncomfortable, we are very amazed and, how, and proud of the progress she made today. So we actually been able to take it a step further today um, in terms of using noise, uh, movement, all kind of weird things to see if she would leave it, if she would um, not want to participate more, or if she would just, or if she would enjoy the training. That being said, Cleo got to the point where she actually was leaving it, running around the room, and seeming, seeming to enjoy this training session, even though know, she doesn't really care for that, the loud sound of the movement. That being said, several things. So, first thing we worked on was getting her to accept movement. Can we get up? Can we walk around the room with her? She started to follow up, which is awesome. Gave her treats for that. We found that milk bones, out of all the treats, are her favorite treats. She came out of her shell immediately we um, brought the milk bones, which really shows that the motivators of what she's using for Cleo is very, very important. So make sure that whenever you are treating her, treat her something she really likes. And typically, it is, right now, it is milk bones. After that, we started adding an element of um, sound. So I had Gia go outside, she knocked on the doorbell, Cleo left it alone. So again, your, uh, your plan of attack is if she is going towards the door, any kind of huffing or barking, leave it and convince her to go to a certain spot. We did not touch on place too much today. I did have her place on the couch because it's right here next to me. Um, and the closer she is to you, the better, it, the easier it is for her to understand what you want from her. But that being said, she placed herself on the couch and she left it and I gave her a treat. So, Really good, she did an amazing job with this. It's been like two months and she still remembers that, which is really awesome. So, first knock on the door, she really didn't seem affected by it. Um, you can ask her to leave it if she is going towards it. However, if she's not doing anything, keep doing those treats. You cannot over treat this. We wanna make sure that she, we change her mind about certain things and also convince her, hey, sort of barking for you hush instead. Quiet gets your rewards all the time. After that, Gio started running around the room, which was very hard for her. And the hardest thing for Cleo is when people come through the side door right here, and they are looking over this counter. So this counter, if I'm looking at this from a human standpoint, it is very weird. It looks like you are a decapitated walking head. <laughs> so as a dog, I'm sure that it's very, it's very hard to, to accept. So people coming in making noise, all you see is heads bobbing to the side. So this right here, just her looking at this, giving her treats, changing her mind about this is gonna be very, very important. And leave it does come into play. However, there is still a little bit of decent work and kind of conditioning where, where I am. I'm not really saying leave it. I'm just trying to see if she would offer me a better behavior instead. So it's, a, it's like a line where you want to actually leave it if she is barking a lot. But if she is figuring out what she if she's trying to be quiet, you're waiting for those quiet moments. I hope that makes sense. And we're definitely going to have a coaching where we can explain, explain, explain a little better to you. That being said, G is making funny spaces right now paying peekaboo up and down on the, on the counter. Look at Cleo's face. She's very suspicious about what's going on, but she's a good girl. Cleo's such a good girl. Notice that I waited and I, I gave her hand, hey, you're a good girl. I'm telling her she's a good girl for remaining calm, even though Gia's even made a weed over there and she wants to see her head. Now Gia's lifting her hands over her head behind the camera that we can see. Look at Cleo's, oh, good girl. Her face, she's very concerned about it, but she's being a really good girl. Yes, she is. This is a moment you really want to reward her for. Now, I'm sure people come through this door more often than that door, which allows you to see at this door a lot. But that being said, really important that, hey, you okay? It is perfectly fine. Another thing I added in is something you can do as well. Once we're done training, I actually let her go investigate the area that she was uncomfortable by. Hey, look, this area is not that bad. It's not a big deal. It's not that scary. I like have, letting them investigate so they can figure out, okay, this is not, again, that scary. So, we did a really good job with this today. Um, we are, we do need to make our training sessions more frequent. Um, it's been a while and we uh, want to continue on this fast pace of her succeeding. She's gonna really good job today. I didn't actually say she's off and it's really off. She's watching Gio still. Uh, Gio's running. 
I'm not going to say leave it. I'm going to figure out. I'm not going to use leave unless I need it. I'm going to need it right here. You good girl. <laughs> you gotta leave it. Now you gotta leave it. <laughs> so what should have happened? I actually should have treated her a little bit earlier. Let's say I was treating her the entire time Jill was walking around. She wouldn't have made that joke. <laughs> like she did right now. And she'd be a little silly. Too. Clea. Come yeah, good girl. She is being silly too because Jill's being silly and she knows she likes us. But good choice. Good choice. So I haven't said Livy. I'm rewarding her first. I want her to realize that's a good girl. Be quiet. Good. Good. This is very hard. She is very close. Good. And I'm going to continue with the treat train. Because this is very hard. The, the trigger is closer, and of course, you can be a little bit more comfortable. You such a good girl, though. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good touch. Good touch. You need a treat. I'm scared. Well, I hope that makes sense. You did a really good job today. You did, girl. Um, we will continue from this, and you're welcome to see what Good. 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 Good job. Good, 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 good job, good job, good job. All right, you did a really good job today. If you have any questions, let us know. Instagram, bye.